Hi planners, thanks so much for tuning in to my YouTube channel. It's me, Chloe from Chloe Tree Plans. And in this video, I'm going to be setting up and planning in my Erin Condren A5 Daily Duo. I have it inside of this case here and we'll talk a little bit more about my planner folio and the sale that Erin Condren has going on right now as well. And of course, there'll be a little planner chatter. So I'm gonna catch up with you all, talk about what's going on in the planner community while I go ahead and set up my planner for the week. So you are in the right spot if you're looking for some good planner inspo, some good conversation. Let's go ahead and get right into this video. Vendetta. If you are a new viewer, welcome to my channel. If you're a true blue subscriber, welcome back. I am going to try my best to make this video kind of short and straight to the point, but you know, when we get to talking, that doesn't always happen. So if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. When you subscribe, it lets YouTube know that you're enjoying my content and it helps me to be able to continue to grow. I finally made it to 6,000 subscribers. So I'm very, very excited about that and grateful to all of you for subscribing to my channel. So please subscribe. It's been about six years and 6,000 subscribers. So that's about a thousand folks a year. So thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and I appreciate you. So moving into this, I have my planner folio here with the in bloom design. I have a few planner materials here as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out so I can start using them, of course. And then I also have my pen, of course. I have some washi tape here and of course my planner. And so this really just keeps my planner all together. And of course, as you can see, some accessories as well. I really like this. It comes in a lot of different designs. So I really enjoy using this planner folio for that purpose. And it is customizable. So you can put quotes and your name and whatever else down here in the bottom right corner. Um, but I personally just like using it to protect my planner. You can also use this for like an iPad mini. It's the A5 size, but you can get the seven by nine as well if you have a bigger planner. Um, but now they have the A5 size. So I really like having that. And if you're watching this video in real time, Erin Condren is having 20% off their entire website, which is a big deal. They also have some freebies going on as well. So, you know, if you're watching this and you are watching it in real time, I would definitely check out that sale because as you know, things do sell out. And so I'd check it out to see what they have available. So getting into this planner, um, you already know what the inside looks like. If you're new to my channel, you might not I have my name page here. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and flip to September. I cannot believe it's September already, but here we are. Getting into this spread, you see I already have some things listed here um, and written in the boxes. And so what I really wanna do is just look over this to make sure I have everything. I do have a little checklist here because y'all know I can get distracted in these videos and not do everything I wanted to do. So monthly view, wanted to check it and have some stickers too. I have stickers in parentheses because I'm going to go ahead and grab a few stickers to use in this planner. Something I try to keep track of is where I got my nails done. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that in here. Um, because what will end up happening is I'll forget when I got them done. And then I'll be overdue when it's time. So that's important to me to make sure that I'm documenting that. As you can see, I mean, it looks a little bit dry, but I have plenty of bills due, trust me. Um, I keep those in a separate file. So I don't write my bills in here, but I'm still gonna write them down. And most of them are due on the first. I mean, some of them do like, you know, the first, the sixth, the seventh, but I pay everything on the first, but I don't wait until the seventh. So I'm always a little bit early. Um, so there's that. I'm also going to go ahead and put my paydays on here. And you know, it looks a little bit boring, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with a clean spread right now. Let me know in the comments if you are okay with a clean spread or if you always feel like you need to be putting more on the page. I'm okay with a, a clean spread right now. I think it's okay. Um, I don't have an issue with it, but I understand how others might feel a little bit thrown off by clean spread. And by clean, I just mean I have minimal stickers and whatnot. I am going to go ahead and add a little bit of flora or a little bit of in bloom washi. 
because I just enjoy it so much. And I think I might, let's see. So I did add a little bit of washi at the bottom to get a, give it a little pizzazz. <laughs> but for the most part, you know, I'm pretty much done. Um, I don't have a whole lot to write. And then going into my weekly productivity page, I did want to show you all this page. I got this kit from Planner Kate. It looks just like this on the page. And then you just take it off of the sticker sheet and you put it onto whatever page you want. This is for A5, so that is what it's for. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is add the dates here and so I'm going to start with the 12th here and then of course go down to the last day of the week and so I just wanted to you know show you all this kit because if you are a daily planner but you want a weekly overview you know you do have a blank page after each week now so I think it works out perfectly to just go ahead and have your weekly at a glance page and this kit can kind of help you structure it if you would like to grab this kit from Planner Kate, of course the link is going to be in my description below. And so you can check out that link to grab this kit. And it comes in other colors too. This is the In Bloom um, design or the In Bloom color scheme. So there are other colors if you are interested in checking out the other colors and the other kits. There's plenty to offer on the Planner Kate website. So that is how it looks. And I'm just gonna write that. And this is gonna be my priority list. And so I'm gonna really kind of like make a, a line here and write weekly priorities. some of my weekly priorities i'm just going to go down the list and write them out really quickly because i do have in my head some of the things i want to prioritize this week So now I am done with that sheet. I think this weekly at a glance or weekly priorities as I'm making it is really nice. It helps me to be able to know that no matter what happens that day, these are the items I need to be doing even if nothing else gets done. So I love having a personal weekly priorities list. This is not work priorities. This is just priorities for myself. Um, and you know, a lot of times a few work things do get kind of snuck in there for like example, work week, prep for work week. That more so is like making sure I have my clothes ready, things like that. Um, and then like this one prep for class presentation. Um, I want to make sure that I have makeup on and I look nice and all that stuff. So sometimes work things do get kind of pulled over into personal when it comes to my morning routine being a little bit different, but for the most part, I like to keep it separate. So anyway love how this looks love this um and i really definitely recommend checking out planner kate's website to see if this is something that you would like for your planner i love it because i of course i love that we have an extra page in the daily duo now last but not least i'm going to go ahead and show you what i've been doing in my daily planner the daily spread i've really been enjoying the daily spread um i have my little bookmark here to keep my page and i've 
just been enjoying it and I wanted to kind of just spruce it up a little bit and show you how I do that. Um, of course, I have my words here. I have everything on here and I'm going to just use a little bit of washi tape on the bottom and at the top and I'm going to just chat about kind of what's been going on with my planner. So in the month of August, I did quite a bit of traveling. Um, I had three trips in the month of August, which I didn't really expect it to go that way but it was a situation where if I didn't go then I was not going to be able to go for a long time and so I went ahead and you know prioritized spending time with some friends and my family um even though it was quite a lot it took me like a whole week to get adjusted um three weekends out of the month is a lot to be traveling um so yeah I'm just happy that it <laughs> it's over at this point happy to be home happy to be back to my normal routine although i really did enjoy everyone i saw and they were just weekend trips so it's not like i was gone for like you know three weeks out of the month it was more just like three weekends but still it was it was quite a bit to adjust to and get used to but either way had a good time enjoyed myself um on each trip everything went according to plan which i was grateful for because i know a lot of folks are experiencing delays so i'm definitely grateful that everything went according to plan um with that but with that being said it definitely kind of interrupted my normal planner routine i was using a petite planner while i was traveling because this planner although it is very nice and the sizing is nice for me i just felt like it was too bulky for my bag and that the petite planner was a little bit less bulky so i ended up just using this i mean using the petite planner instead of using my daily duo and that was that so it worked out for me i don't have any complaints about it but it really made me want to get back into the petite planner so i don't know i'm 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 loving the petite planner release i don't know if you've seen it yet but if you haven't check it out look it up i'll be doing a petite planner review soon i ordered my petite planner today on sale for the 25 percent off sale i went ahead and grabbed it so if you um are gonna you know shop go ahead and shop the sale i mean it's i definitely recommend taking advantage i'll probably post a screenshot of what i did go ahead and grab on my facebook group so you want to check out Aaron Condren Planners and Lifestyle Facebook group. I did put the link in the description. So check out my groups there. Um, myself and Desiree from Desiree Plans. We co-admin the group. So check out the group if you want to, you know, be a part of, of the news and the happenings and find out more information. Check it out there. And again, I'm going to post probably post my cart to that page um, soon and you can check it out. So the long story short is I was happy about the sale. I grabbed a few things. And I did go ahead and grab the petite planners um, on the sale. So I will be bringing back some petite planner content soon. It's just, it's so hard because I really do love how clean the Daily Duo spread is. But then when I'm on the go, I really want to use the petites. I don't want to use the, the, the A5. And so it's just kind of hard. And even in my work bag, like this takes up more space than you would think in my work bag. And I don't like that. So I'm just trying to come to an understanding with myself really about like, what am I going to do? I, I love both planners pretty much equally. The only biggest issue for me is this one doesn't have those lines in it. Um, and then this one also I can fold it over on my on itself like this, which is definitely a big perk um, versus the petite planner where you can't do that. So uh, those are my dilemmas. And if you haven't seen the petite planner yet, spoiler alert, um, it is an in bloom design so it is no longer that colorful design it is more muted and i think i will like that but that planner doesn't start until january so even though i'm really excited about it and i think that that'll change my mind kind of about this planner i think as soon as it starts i'll start using it you know even though that's great and dandy it doesn't start until january so i'm still kind of in the same place of like i don't know what I really want to use. I don't know what planners I want to make my staples, but of course I don't mind bouncing back and forth. It's just, I don't know. I, I kind of like sticking in one daily planner and then I don't mind moving around with my weekly planners, but it's been a struggle, okay? It's been a struggle. I like both planners for different reasons, but I keep gravitating back to this one. So I'm gonna stick with it for now. Um, and dare I say it, I think this is my planner piece, but I just really love the petites too. And so it's just hard to, for me to make a decision and stick with it um, when it comes to the petites and the the daily duo. I just having an internal battle when it comes to them. So hopefully I'll be able to, you know, make a firm decision about it. But 
you know me i probably won't i'll probably end up just keep you keep both use both <laughs> and do that but for those of you who enjoy my petite planner content help help is on the way um i also recommend you to you know use the tips that i have for these daily planner videos if you see any tips that you like use them in your petites i mean most of the things i'm doing in these daily planners you can also do in your petites so i definitely recommend that as you can see i just went ahead and added a little strip of washi and some little post-its you can do this super easy again all these accessories are on sale for 25 percent off so it's really easy to just go ahead and highlight and play around with a little few a few sections something i've enjoyed doing recently is um highlighting so i usually just use this little highlighter here and i'll just make a little squiggle and that'll kind of represent my lunch break and then again um on this page i'll do another one for my like morning routine getting dressed all that good stuff and i just really enjoy doing it so i recommend you know getting some highlighters too if you already have them so if you have a highlighter or a marker on hand you know you can always use it to make little boxes i use a straight edge to make a box like this um i just try to make sure i'm using you know the smaller side of the highlighter or marker whatever it is i know a lot of people like to use sharpie markers whatever that looks like for you you can always enhance the spread with things like that i also like to really just make sections and so you can use that with like a little bookmark like this a straight edge so sometimes I'll make different sections like personal, home, and work. So I do that by just making a straight edge here, here, and just really playing around with the space. Cause that's what you really wanna do when you're planning creatively is making the most out of the space that you have. And so whether you have a stencil, a straight edge, whatever that looks like, you can always do that. I also have a Chrissy and Design stencil that I use to make boxes. So that's always an option as well. And, you know, it's, it's just nice to be able to creatively plan. Um, it relieves a lot of stress for me. And I like looking at it when I'm done with my projects. So definitely recommend that. So you see, I have two boxes now. And so you can make one personal, one work, whatever that looks like for you, if you need to make sections in your planner. So in this case, like I have at least this box, this box, this box, that could be personal home reminder, whatever that looks like. So just letting you all know that you have options. You don't have to always use stickers to create boxes and things, but of course stickers are fun. So I enjoy using stickers and washi, but you have some options there and you can really play around with it. I always cover my perpetual calendar because I don't usually use it, but if you want to use it, you know, you can always just go ahead and highlight it. That's what most people do or highlight the day. So in this instance for the day, I would just go ahead and circle the day to give me an idea of where I am in the month. And then of course, if I wanted to highlight the week, I just straight across and highlight the entire week but a lot of people do that and a lot of people just cover it and i'm one of those people that just just cover it up because that i know what day it is and what month it is i don't really need the, the little calendar to remind me of where we're at but it is kind of nice to look and see without having to turn so i get why it's there i just don't particularly find it useful in my planning process but totally get it so just a little overview you know, my September monthly calendar is a pretty clean spread. I have a really fun overview of the week that I showed you. And then I also have my daily plans. Again, I am still a little bit confused and conflicted about, you know, where I want to be when it comes to the daily planner. Is it petite planner? Is it daily duo? But really the daily duo is mostly winning right now. Um, I have some really fun spreads in here that I'm just going to show you really quickly. And as I chat, but you know, it's really fun to be able to play around with these different spreads, different stickers and things like that. Um, and so also when I have no stickers at all, I'm still functional and I really enjoy it too. So I think that's what I love the most about the Daily Planner is just the versatility of it all and really being able to play around with all these different spreads and options. So definitely let me know what you think about this planner. Let me know if you are using a daily duo or if you're just watching this for inspiration. I'd be happy to know in the comments. Of course, the things I use in the video, I'll do my best to link them down below. But if I use something that I don't link, let me know and I will go ahead and add it. 
Erin Condren is having 25% off their entire website. So if you're looking for a planner or accessory, this might be the time to grab it. Let me know if you have questions about that sale in the comments below. And of course, join my Facebook group for more regular updates, as well as my Instagram at Chloe Tree Plans. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you all in the next video.